okay, I was trying to get a good angle here, so. Uh, this has been for BSC Geek. We're here at Bishop Arms and Williamsburg, Virginia for Thursday, September 29th, 2022. So, this is my first trip to, to um, House Queen this year. I, I wanted to come on the Thursday because usually on Thursdays, there's not a lot of people here. There's not really that many people here. Um, it is almost 6 o'clock right now, so Hell Scream is about to begin. Um, it is a little cool. It's probably around 70 degrees right now. And uh, we'll go check out all the houses, the mazes, the shows tonight. I'll try to show you as much as I can on camera. Um, I actually just got out of the first showing of Monster Stop on Reaper Road. Uh, tonight is the first showing for that show. It's absolutely my favorite show here at Hell Scream. And I did not get a chance to see it last year, so I was very happy to see it tonight. Really, really good show. Definitely go see it if you come here to Hell Scream at Bush Girls or in Tampa. If you come to Hell Scream in Tampa, uh, Florida, definitely go check it out. So, uh, but anyway, Hell Scream should be begin beginning in probably a few minutes here, so we'll show you um, all the scare actors and everything scary here tonight. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Zebra! Oh, you imbecile! What are you doing up here? I thought I was going to be down there with you! Come on, come on! Oh, I thought you weren't afraid of lies! Ah, 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 ah. Well, of course, we have a lovely show for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have quite the thousand zombies to right to have this night. Now get on out there! But I hear they go fight tonight! Why, hello there! Hello! Are you looking for a close up? Ha! No Is that a camera? Well, hello. I think so. Hello. Either that or that's a strange object in his hands. I'm on, I'm on TV. <laughs> this is live TV! What are you talking about? <laughs> Bye, Mom. And we're heading back into England. This is Ripper Row, one of the scary zones here. That was the game show you host. It was the official host of um, House Creed you saw a few minutes ago. Amazing. Oh. Why are you off this? What is that thing? We're walking through Ireland right now. And Jack is back. Jack is back show over here. We'll check that out later tonight. And there's the giant pumpkin over there. And that's where you do some photos with Jack himself. We'll check that out later tonight. But we're heading to our first house right now, which will be uh, Kilnarney Diner. There is no way for Kilnarney Diner. Um, I'll walk on. So that is the way it's going to be for most of the house, or at least all the houses tonight. But uh, we are able to film inside the house, so I'll try to uh, show some video inside the house. How about you? You want to be one of the ladies tonight? Take your food, late night snack. Hey, hey, man. We're about to head into our second house tonight. It is Inferno. This is a brand new house for 2022. I heard a lot of good things about this house, so I'm very much looking forward to this house. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Got down with Skeletos over here at San Marcos. Uh, absolutely, absolutely fantastic show. So, we are walking back through the um, Rogan's Garden Scare Zone. This was the new scare zone for this year. <laughs> that was the uh, Clown Hat Pack. We'll try to catch them later. Mr. Bush. Right, we're in our next house. Our third house is Death Water Bayou. New house this year at Bush Gardens House Green. <laughs>
Okay, so it is about 7.58 right now. So, so far, three houses, two scare zones, two shows, so not too bad within two hours. So, I am heading over um, to New France right now, I think, because I am hungry. There is a funnel cake I want to try out up there. Then we'll probably, um, we'll check out the meat market up there. There's another, another scare zone that's over in New France. We'll check out the meat market and some other scare zones on the other side of the park. And, um, and check out the other two houses.
All right, so Three Rivers was opened. So I just picked up this Hollis Green Funnel Cake. It is delicious. All right, I, I have been looking forward to this Scare Zone, this Scary Tale Rose, and then our new Scare Zone this year at Butch Carnes Hollis Green. been waiting for this one. We're in France. We're in uh, the Data Head Scare Zone. So we'll be through here and then the last two houses, which will be Nevermore Chapter 2 and Witch of the Woods. So they moved this house into the old Dragon Fire Station this year. Last year it was over in um, Dark Castle. But of course, uh, when they announced my art of Dark Coast to come into Dark Castle next year, they, the Dark Castle is closed. So they have moved Nevermore into the old Dragon Fire Station. Hello. House of Night, Witch of the Woods.
Ah, Mr. Bus. Watch out. There's damn bush people. Yes, sir. Same to you, sir. Oh, what a lovely night it is. <laughs> stop it. I said stop it. You're no match for the car. <laughs> Many years for this moment, I've traveled all of Ireland, looking for a place to spend eternity. And I've decided to stay here. In Killarney. <laughs> Foolish people! Think you can keep Jack from coming back with your silly jack o' lanterns? Well, you couldn't have been more wrong. Jack o' lanterns, your master is here. Come to life! 
you guys enjoyed all the footage I got from um, Hello Scream at Bush Gardens in Willsburg, Virginia. Um, that was this past Thursday night. Um, so, um, the houses you are able to film um, video and take pictures inside. Uh, that's something that I just started last year. There is a camera policy on the, um, the um, Bush Gardens Halloween uh, website, which I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. All the information for Hello Screen on that website. Um, so, for the houses, I enjoyed all the houses. There were five houses this year, two of them new, which were Inferno and Death Water Bayou. Um, I think Death Water Bayou is going to be my favorite house this year. Really enjoyed the voodoo theme for that house. Um, the other three houses houses were uh, returning houses. Canary Diner was still still a um, such a fun house to go to. That was my favorite house last year, and it's still one of uh, probably the best houses that Bush Gardens has done in a long time ever at um, House Green. Uh, Nevermore Chapter Two, much improved house um, from last year. Uh, this house debuted um, last year. And it was over in Dark Castle, but this year they moved it over to the old Dragon Fire building, uh, mainly because um, um, Dark Castle is closed right now. They are putting a new ride in there, uh, which is Dark Coaster. You probably heard about um, Dark Coaster, and that will be opening next year. So Dark uh, Castle is uh, closed off right now for the uh, construction of Dark Coaster. But I thought the Dragon Fire building was a much better fit for Nevermore. It was a completely different maze this year from what they did last year. And I really liked all the changes all the changes they did for um, Nevermore. Uh, Witcher Woods was basically the same maze from last year. Um, the only difference is, is the trail that you take uh, from October 5th up to um, Witch of the Woods. It was a much longer trail than we have had in the past. Um, I don't know why Bush Gardens uh, changed the um, queue going up to uh, Witch in the Woods, but this one, I mean, it was probably at least two miles long. I mean, yes, it was that long. I mean, it took like forever to get to that maze from um, October 5th. And um, I made this suggestion in one of my Bush Gardens on Facebook groups and other people have made suggestions. So if you remember Bush Gardens is watching this, please put at least one or two scare actors on that path or put like a food stand or something to make it a little more, um, to make it a little more better. It, it was just, you know, tiring walk, walking that long, long road uh, with just basically nothing going on. I mean, I know that they had loudspeakers playing some of the, um, like, rock music, but, I mean, they just need to do something else, uh, just to make it, um, not as, pa not as painful as I will say. Yeah, it was pretty painful walking that long. But, um, that is my thoughts on the houses, the, um, territories, or, um, scare zones, if you want to call it that. Um, Bitch Grounds just prefers to call these scare zones, territories. So, five territories this year. Three of them were new. Uh, the new ones were Dead Ahead over in uh, France. Then, Scary Tower Road over in uh, Germany. And Gorgon Gardens over in Italy. Uh, Scary Tower Road, I was really looking forward to it. I mean, I saw a video of it um, prior to coming out to Hell Scream on Thursday. And I was really looking forward to it, but I was very disappointed. I mean, I love the um, scare zone itself. I love the decorations and the setup. But I only saw um, about two or three scare actors the whole night. I mean, I went through it several times, and I didn't see that many scare actors. And I was told that there were a lot more scare actors than what I saw. So I guess that was it was just bad timing. I wasn't... Um, in that scare zone at the right time. But um, anyway, uh, Meat Market is still my favorite scare zone. 
I really loved it and um, I think it really fits well in um, New France. Um, the other one is Dead Ahead. I didn't really care much for it. That's over in um, France. And then uh, Gorgon's Gardens. Uh, Gorgon Gardens. I really liked it a little lot. I like the whole uh, the Snake um, Sisters theme with Medusa. And whoever played Medusa, she did fantastic. She was really, really good. And um, all the other scary actors were good in that maze also. Uh, especially you, Mr. Bush. I really loved seeing Mr. Bush over there. Uh, Ripper's Robert in England. Uh, nothing much has changed for that scare zone. Um, that's been there forever. I, I don't think that's going to ever change. Um, I did not see Jack the Ripper, though. Uh, I was a little disappointed to see Jack the Ripper over at uh, Ripper Road. Uh, the shows, so five shows this year. Um, I only got a chance to see three. So I did see Monster Stomp over in England at the Glyph Theater. That was the first thing I did as soon as I got to um, Bush Gardens. Then we saw um, Jack is Back over in Ireland and uh, Skeletons over in Italy. All three of the shows were fantastic, especially Monster Stomp. That's my absolute favorite show at Hallow Screen. Um, the other two shows, uh, Fans of the Pest House, and which was over in uh, Pest House in um, Oktoberfest, and the other show was um, Zombies over in France. I did not get a chance to see uh, those two shows. Um, see, other stuff that happened, so I did uh, try um, this um, funnel cake. It was a house screen funnel cake. Uh, that you saw earlier in the video, I got that over at um, Three Rivers in New France, and it was thirteen dollars. Yes, thirteen dollars for a phone cake. Yes, yeah, so a lot of food prices and a lot of prices for food and drink have really skyrocketed over at um, Fish Corners uh, this year. But I saw a picture of it before I came, and I really want to try it, but. Yeah, otherwise, I probably would have never paid that much for a phone cake. But it was really good. But, um, but overall, I, mean, I had a good time. The crowd was not too bad. It was very low crowd there Thursday night. And um, Thursday nights are usually low, low crowds. Um, not as crowded as, like, on Friday or Saturday. It's nowhere even close to... Why it's like on Saturdays over at um, Hallow Scream at Bush Gardens. So if you plan to go to Hallow Scream, I'm definitely looking to go to go on a Thursday or even Sunday. I've never been on Sunday before, but I heard Sundays are not as crowded. So Thursday or Sunday, um, Fridays are not too bad. I've been on a Friday before; it's not too bad. But Saturdays are the worst time to go. So definitely try to avoid going on Saturday if you can, because it is insanely crowded. And Bush Gardens has had a lot of problems with um, bad crowds, a lot of fights. Um, uh, this year, well, not only this year, but in the uh, last couple of years. And it's just not Bush Gardens, it's like Kings of Men, Karen Wins, and other theme parks. And a lot of problems usually happen on Saturdays. So uh, I just would highly recommend not going on Saturdays if possible. But anyway, that is my thoughts on uh, my trip for Hello Scream at Bush Gardens. Um, I was planning to go back on uh, Friday, but um, the park um, was closed on Friday uh, due to Hurricane Ian. And I was hoping to go to King's Dominion's um, Halloween Haunt um, Friday night, but that was closed as well. Um, both parks had uh, reopened yesterday. Um, it is Sunday right now, and both parks did reopen yesterday. Um, I am thinking about going back um, probably towards the end of October, um, possibly Halloween weekend. I'm not sure yet, but if I do, I uh, will probably go back and uh, do Hell Scream again. And also, I'm going to try to go to Kings Me and um, Halloween Haunt. Uh, since I missed it, but um, if I do, I will definitely update you on my um, Instagram at BSC Geek. 
And that's gonna be it for this uh, video for um, Hell Scream at Bush Gardens in Wills Park, Virginia. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and like and comment. Um, my channel is mainly a toy collecting, toy hunting channel, but I do post videos for Bush Gardens because it is uh, one of my favorite theme parks to go to. And also, uh, absolutely love Halloween, so I got a lot of Halloween content on the channel. Got a lot of Halloween events um, here in North Carolina that I plan to go to next uh, several weeks. So I will be um, making posting those uh, very soon on the channel. So uh, please subscribe and um, also follow me on Instagram BSC Geek, and I will see you guys next time.